one of the consistent messages we've heard from designers is that they want to grow their businesses internationally and they could use some support and help doing that. The CFD Vogue Fashion Fund is not just assisting 10 designers in a current year, but creating opportunities and programs for alumni, for designers who participated in the program in the past. The idea was bringing 10 of the designers here to Paris for Paris Fashion Week. A lot of the editors and buyers that are in Paris now don't come to New York, so this was an opportunity to bring a group together and give them that exposure. This is an edited version from my spring collection and which was inspired by Nobuyashi Araki. And so that whole collection, what I wanted to showcase here was particularly uh, edited down and let people know when they walk in the kind of work that I do. With my line with Simon Spur, it's like rooted in tailoring. So obviously to have like CFTA and Vogue support is uh, Amazing is so important. It, it lends credibility to us all, but you know, sm smaller designers. What we wanted to get across is basically how the men's and the women's collection sort of works together, and really talk in our men's collections a very strong tailoring that's involved, and we hand make most of the things we do in the United States. So we wanted to show how basically the tailored pieces we make in men translate to women's. We're excited to be here in Paris and I just am launching my Inti collection that's inspired by my recent travels to Peru. I learned all about uh, Peruvian architecture, specifically the ancient Incan architecture and really tried to bring some of those elements into this collection. What we're kind of doing highlights from the collection pieces we feel really strongly about. Right behind me are some of the new evening wear ideas that we've been working on. This season, sort of evening wear is something new for us, evening wear in print. We are an American costume jewelry company. We've been around for three and a half years. We introduce some new shapes. We don't introduce many new silhouettes each season, but this season I was very inspired by the framework of Robert Maplethorpe. So a lot of the, the um, caged framework that you see in this group in particular was inspired by him. For this collection, I was inspired by La Piscine, a movie about a woman who is feeling really beautiful and chic with nonchalance. So it's effortless fashion. I am part with an American designer, which is a new thing for me because I'm French, but I like it. I'm very happy about it. I would say the apex or the main part of the collection is we suntan these shoes and we created a process where we're creating panels on the shoes to create a suntan, kind of the copper tone girl, you take off your bathing suit and you have your tan lines. I'm primarily known for print and color, so for this particular collection I decided that a very neutral palette would be a little bit more radical and a bit of a departure, because also there's so much color and print around at the moment, so I think it's a really nice way for me to just focus on technique. You know, my clothing is quite labor intensive, and it's very much about the textiles and the combination of textiles, which allow people to really focus on the fabrication. showing pieces from my new collection which was heavily influenced by the architecture and tile work from northern Africa and Morocco. Really working with a lot of different stones, bright colors, bold patterns and trying to take what I normally do but really push it to the next level. We were lucky that Tommy Hilfiger came on board and is our uh, underwriter on it and we did this fun thing with the designers where each of them was asked what their idea of an American in Paris is, and we did these 10 tote bags which Tommy's selling to benefit the CFD Vogue Fashion Fund, so, um, and they're really cute collectible bags. I think what's important is not the uh, singular voice of each of the designers that is in the Americans in Paris showroom, but it's this idea of a collective group together representing a, a generation of American designers.